morning. Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all uh, participants. Um, thanks for joining this uh, session. Um, today, uh, what is this? Uh, we'll be uh, discussing on how to configure the uh, attendance as well as um, uh, group as well as grouping. Okay, uh, because now uh, we are at the beginning of semester, um, if we do it right, it will be easier for all of us um, in dealing with the uh, um, organizing your, your classes. Um, how to hide this? Anis? Hey. How do I hide this? Eh? Hide. Um, muka doktor ke? Kitchen eh? Oh, I, uh, okay, okay. Manage to find that. Alright. Um, I'll be using, okay, um, in this session, um, we have ample of time uh, to make it uh, really useful to uh, each of us. Uh, I think it, it is good uh, if we uh, can uh, do kind of hands-on um, uh, workshop lah. That means if you have two device or if you have two screen, use one of those uh, screen and one of the device uh, to listen to our listen and so view the uh, uh, session. And the other one uh, for you to uh, follow along. So you can use your existing course in order to follow along. So let's start with uh, attendance. So you ju just open the uh, your, your one of your course. Uh, we start with attendance. Huh? Um, when you begin, you will. Is it a little bit slow? Huh? Um, over here, those who are new, um, you will see once you log in, you will see a list of your uh, courses that assigned to you, um, located at the left plane. pane. Um, if it is not visible, you just toggle this burger button and then you will be able to see that uh, courses. Right, pick your recent course. Uh, for my case, I will be using a dummy course for me to play around. Uh, let me find that uh, DLG. I'll be using this one. Um, now, when you inside your course, you will see the topic within your course as well as uh, some of the uh, important uh, menu. And at the middle is your uh, Spectrum course uh, page. And on the right side is uh, what we call blog. Um, Okay, for attendance, normally uh, we uh, put it at the top, um, uh, the, the top section. If you do not have that attendance or if you accidentally delete it, don't worry, uh, it can be uh, uh, enabled. Uh, you need to turn edit on. Right? You know that you are in editing mode when you see this pencil um, icon next to each of the uh, topic and also title. Um, now let's uh, add uh, attendance in case you do not have it. You can do this way. Um, look for attendance. This is attendance. You click on that and then it will pop up um, the configuration um, menu for this attendance. Um, then you can give it a name. Uh, and then this one, uh, just leave it as default. Um, we, we will be using default uh, settings so far. So save and return to cost. So I just created this. If you want to uh, reposition the uh, attendance, you, you can click on that, uh, the anchor button, and then release. Um, your uh, mouse button and then you will see this uh, position 
uh, where you want to position this item within the uh, topics within your course page. Um, if I want to put it at the top and I click on that, and then it will uh, move there. Right? Same thing for uh, any other modules that, that you have uh, entered or you have created in the uh, Spectrum course page. If those modules not uh, yet not, not um, being used anymore, you can delete it. Don't worry because the previous uh, information, the previous content um, will always be available in archive, Spectrum archive. Uh, can be assessed from this menu according to semester. Um, now I place at the top. Now let's say you have multiple groups. You can configure your attendance to take uh, the multiple group. But as of now, I just want to um, uh, teach you how to automatically configure the attendance session for the rest of the uh, weeks. We have 14 weeks, right? So you don't have to create one by one. You just need to create one and then uh, make it repeat every week and then uh, all the session will be added. So let's have a look on that. I just click on that uh, uh, attendance module that I created just now. And then now um, it is empty so far. Maybe for your case, you have uh, one or two, or maybe you have a uh, few uh, attendances associated to the previous semester. Um, if you want to delete it, you can delete it. Um, you can uh, uh, select that those item and then you can delete. Um, now to create a uh, session, click on the second tab. Uh, you may stop me anytime if you have any question eh? because uh, I think the participant is not that uh, huge. I think I will be able to address the question. Let me try to see the list of participants. Let me check. So far, and so far we have uh, how many participants? Uh, 24. 27. 27 from my... Uh, 27 oh. include our secretary okay. and doctor. Um, so we are at here, at, at a session. This will be the, um, the current date or maybe the first week of the uh, date and time. Set it correctly. Let's say... We start today, uh, 23rd, and then our class session going to start at, let's say, 10 a.m. until uh, 12, for example. And until 12. And uh, this is the um, menu that uh, will help us a lot, multiple session. So just click repeat, and then you know that your class will always happen on every Wednesday, so 23rd is Wednesday, right? On every Wednesday, and um, it, it repeat every week. Um, and this is the date uh, on the last, you know, on the final week of the this semester. It will be week 14. So let's say our week 14 falls under, um, let's say on 30th June. I put this June. This June, twenty twenty two. Um, and we normally allow our student to record the attendance, so we allow the student to record it. And the rest, you can just leave at this, and then add. When I click add, I will see all the weeks. Um, we have uh, 15 uh, weeks. So it includes uh, the break time, uh, the break week. Uh, look for the break and then break week and then uh, select, you can delete that. 
particular uh, session. So what happened when the times come, the student will um, have an option to click the link and then record the attendance manually, or they can use QR code. Those who are not familiar with QR code, I will show you how to enable that. Um, so far, uh, any question from participant? Straightforward, right? Again, I repeat. Um, so, the first uh, thing. Sorry. Yep. Uh, so I go, <coughs> Azizi from um, API. Um, what will happen, say, in case we have uh, put the attendance uh, and uh, it, in the mid of the semester, accidentally deleted uh, the, the attendance section? Can we restore that? Uh, unfortunately, from my knowledge, uh, it cannot be restored unless you have a kind of backup. So if you delete it, then it will be deleted. Okay, thanks. So be careful. Um, um, any other question? So I'm going to again repeat. First, create the attendance by using this uh, add activity. Add activity and then select the attendance and then uh, give it a name and then most of the uh, configuration we just follow the default configuration to make it simple and then once it is there in your spectrum course page and then click on that and then you can start add session by clicking on this button add session let's say i i have previous session here Let's say this is previous session. I would like to delete all those previous session. I can simply click on that. Or if I want to selectively uh, select, I can select. Or if majority of the session are previous session, I can do that way and then untick which one uh, I don't want to uh, delete. And then I can delete. That's how uh, to delete the uh, session. Um, right, uh, I would like to delete this one as well. To add session, uh, select the date that uh, your first class or maybe your second uh, class, doesn't matter. Uh, because now we are in week two, right? So, right. so and then uh, pick the time. Let's say it happened every 10 a.m. until 12. Um, multiple session, repeat every, uh, if your class happen on every Wednesday, then it every Wednesday, repeat until the end of semester. I put uh, June 30th. And then uh, remember to click this, uh, allow student to record. But if you are in physical uh, mode, um, you uh, might uh, leave that tick, uh, allow student to record uh, until. But uh, since we are doing uh, lots of online session, then you need to, uh, you need to tick that uh, option. So we have got the uh, weeks uh, session for the classes. If you have two uh, classes, same course, um, you have two session, you can you just repeat the same uh, sequence. So I'm going to add uh, another class. Let's say uh, I have three credit hour. Two credit hour happens uh, today at 10 a.m. The other um, one credit hour uh, happens on Friday. So I will just check the date on this Friday. Let's say 24. Oh, sorry, 25th. Uh, 25th. March and then it's happened let's say at 3 p.m. until 4 um, and then I repeat the same thing until uh, end of June All right so it will add another series of um, session All right so notice we have Wednesday and Friday. 
So at the student side, you can check how the student uh, view this by toggle the role, um, observe the uh, top side of your spectrum. Uh, and, uh, next to your name, there's a down arrow button menu. You can click switch role to student. This way you will able to see how the student see the, the page. That's how they, they see. Uh, those uh, session that not yet started, they are not able to record the attendance. Or those session that have labs, they cannot uh, record the attendance. So, and they can uh, record the attendance. Self recorded. Any questions so far? No question. Now going back to uh, the test. At the end of the session, uh, let me switch back my role to instructor. If not, I will not. I'll get stuck. I cannot see uh, the. Uh, lecture function, I mean lecture rule. Uh, then edit on. And over there, you notice uh, there's export, report, and, uh, and so on. Um, so at the end of the session, you if you want to see, or maybe at the middle of semester, you would like to see uh, the uh, how student attendance looks like, then you can uh, over your mouse to the report section. There you'll be able to see list of the student. And also, let me zoom out a little bit. And then you, you will see um, the percentage. While you are in the uh, class session, you actually will be able to see how many students have recorded. You will be able to see this status. Let me go back here, um, session. Let's say you are in the class session and you would like to see um, how many students have uh, actually recorded the, se the attendance. You can click on that particular session and then you see the uh, summary down below here. I noticed Dr. Mediawati have uh, recorded the attendance. And also the other one, I think, let me see. Uh, you can, if you have many students, uh, you can sort uh, this way. Uh, if you want to see all, then uh, use this option. Do not uh, uh, use paging. That way you will see all the participants. I think the other one is uh, me, myself. It's not uh, showing here. Um, so uh, for the report, click on that. Is uh, the summary for all the uh, weeks or all the sessions that, that you are created. And then you see um, the status for every single student. Um, and then you can export into Excel format. And then you can do uh, whatever you want to do with that uh, data. As for the group, uh, let's see. Uh, let's session. Let me go to the front page. And I'm going, I'm going to add activity. Let, let, let's check whether I have any group in this uh, in this um, course. You want participant? Yeah, I have those in group A. Maybe for your case, you have group one and group two, right? Or if you are sharing course, maybe 
you have several groups. And then you can customize your attendance to only capture the group that you are uh, in charge in. Um, to do that, uh, first ensure you have the uh, relevant group and then uh, go to the front page. Every time when you are inside a certain module and you want to go back to the front page of your course page, you just uh, click on the course code. Uh, this is supposed to be your course code. And then it come back to the front page. I'm going to add uh, attendance. This is for uh, group. The, um, a, for example. Um, let me check. I, I, I will choose a separate group. And then I can choose the uh, the the group that I wanted to uh, this for this attendance to be assigned to, and then you can even uh, add certain restriction restriction. It is not active. Never mind. Um, there is another restriction down below here. Um, but uh, I think uh, we just leave it as default first. Um, so what I did just now, uh, I choose a separate group. Um, if you want to know details about the, this setting, there is a question mark uh, next to the box. You can click on that. Uh, for this case, um, there are three options, no group, separate group, and visible group. For separate group, maybe I can make it bigger. Um, for separate group, each group member can only see their own group. Others are invisible. Um, if I choose this visible group, each group member work in their group, but can also see other group. Let me uh, see if there's any other setting. Uh, this is and this will restrict uh, to the group that I have chosen. Okay. Save and eh? return to the cost. And then you repeat the same procedure like what I uh, uh, mentioned just now on creating the uh, class session uh, to the rest of the um, uh, classes. I mean, uh, to the rest of the week. So uh, I think uh, so far that's all for the uh, attendance. Now let's, uh, any, any questions so far? Let's move to the group and also grouping. Um, let me find my slide. This one. Group is subset of grouping. Grouping is the, the bigger uh, the bigger group. Inside grouping, you have uh, several groups. Um, why use group? Uh, sharing a course, course level, with the your activity, grade book. So you don't see the student from your uh, classes that not relevant to yours. Uh, same course, but uh, different group. Uh, allocate a particular activity uh, at, at activity level, a resource or topic section to, let me make it bigger, to, oops, goes to the other screen. Um, sorry, I need to configure this one. Give me a moment. Slide show. Maintain to the primary. 
let's try again. Right. Uh, to allocate a particular activity, uh, resource or topic uh, section to just one class or set of user and you don't want others to see. So even within uh, your class, group of your class, you can create subgroup and then um, assign certain activity so that they will be able to work within their uh, subgroup. Um, these are the group mode, uh, same thing like what I show you just now. There are three mode, no group, separate group, visible group. Um, for discussion, for the assignment, what happened if you are selecting a separate group, uh, only the student will only see their own group. Others are invisible. As for the second option, visible group, you can also see other group. The other group would... Uh, you can see the others group work. That means when submitting assignment, they are able to see other group works. Um, and then it, it, however, is read only. Um, this is how uh, we can create uh, a group. Um, the PKM, um, when you assign to teach a, a, a certain course, um, they actually will create uh, automatically create a group uh, taken from uh, Maya. So you normally uh, we see, uh, uh, for example, group one. And that's a big group. If you would like to create uh, another group within that group, you can uh, follow this uh, uh, approach. Um, you can do it manually. This means uh, create group and then give a name, create another group, give a name, and so on. Let's say group one, group two, group A, group B, group C, group D, and so on. But if you want it to be done automatically, then let's say you want to create group A until group D, for example, or maybe until group uh, M or N. So you can do that by using this uh, character group. This uh, will be the name of the, uh, the, um, the, the, the earlier part. I mean, the, you have a longer name, the, the, the earlier portion, you can type in anything. Let's say kumpulan. When you see, uh, when you put add variable here, this will be turned out to be automatically increased from A until the number of group that you are uh, uh, intended to create. If you wanted to create up to three groups, then it will automatically assign uh, this string and then starting from A, B and C because three group. If you want to have it as a number, then use hash. Uh, group and then hatch. If you want to create uh, four group, and it will automatically create group one, two, three, and four. Another advanced level, you can use uh, import group, uh, but this way you need to uh, create CSV file, uh, common, comma, then delimited file, kind of uh, uh, Excel file, but it is CSV, can be open from uh, Notepad. And then it has uh, this format. If I can zoom in. So the first column should be group name, description, uh, group ID number, and enrollment key. Just follow this uh, template and then uh, upload uh, that uh, file uh, using this uh, function import group. Um, and this is a screenshot on how to uh, do that. To arrive to this uh, page, you might want to come to this page. So how to come to this page, let me show you uh, now. Um, where is it? I think this is the one. Okay. 
go to here at the front page of your course that gear button go to more and then you come to this page and then user and then group again i repeat this is your front page front page observe the gear button at the uh, top right just above the uh, turn edit setting uh, on or off and then you uh, press on that uh, down arrow uh, button there then click more and then you will come to this page and then click user and then group and you see uh, this setting let's say uh, you want to do it uh, manually create group kumpulan satu um leave it, uh, the, the rest uh, i just leave it default so that's kumpulan satu now if i want to do it in, uh, automatically i can uh, use let me open that. So there's option auto create group. Auto create group. Let me make it bigger here. And then make everything bigger. Close this one. I just click on the auto create group uh, option. So this is naming scheme. Kumpulan. Kumpulan underscore. And then depends if you want the uh, notation of the group uh, uh, using ABC, then use add. If you want it to be in number form, use uh, hash. Let's start with uh, ABC. So number of group. Uh, auto create based on number of group. Group member count. Uh, wait, uh, okay. Uh, this is group count. Um, let's say four. check the, the other setting if there's any setting that I need to change Okay, this uh, setting will allow uh, you to customize uh, who would be the member. So I'm going to set to uh, let's say member coming from let's say coming from all student. You can play around with this. Uh, uh, the difference between top and bottom here you have grouping remember i mentioned earlier grouping is a bigger uh, bigger scope inside grouping you have uh, several group within it if you do if you do not have grouping you just set it to none you can and then uh, you can choose group Let's say you are dealing with your class, uh, which is group one, then you, you will choose group one. So what happened? The member from the group that you are going to create now, just now, um, it will be coming from uh, that particular selected group. Let's say I choose... Uh, from group A. I 
can just uh, leave it a random. Uh, this one I leave it empty. And I some, oops, I should click preview. Uh, because I selected uh, this one just now, um, sorry, uh, group A, and then inside group A, uh, only have two member, that's why I receive this warning. Um, let's, let's consider I do not do any selection first. Um, no grouping. Preview. So just now I click preview. Oh, it is good practice to click preview to see what is going to happen. Um, remember, I type in kumpulan underscore, right? And then I use uh, add character. And when using add character, the group uh, notation will be um, in the form of alphabetical A, B, C and onward. And um, I pick random, allocate member randomly. And what happened? From that number of group, I assign four, right? And then it will randomly uh, pick from the from the list uh, available in your course. But do remember to pick this one, select member group coming from your uh, assign uh, group. That means, let's say you have uh, two groups, two lecturer for one course, then you should select uh, the one associate to your student. And then preview. If you're okay with that, then submit. This uh, setting will be uh, created uh, for you. Let's say i not satisfied with this. Let's say I want to uh, make it no allocation. I want to allocate manually. So I click preview. Now you see inside the group uh, that has been created, there's now no member yet because you selected uh, you, you, the setting that you want to assign manually. Uh, let's create only uh, three groups so that I have less uh, group to play around. Can I preview? Now, if I satisfy with this, I can submit. Once I click submit, those three groups will be created. And then it will list down inside this group list. Uh, these are the things that I uh, just created. Um, Notice at the end of the group name, you have uh, a number there. That represents how many members uh, assigned to that group. Now, let's say I want to assign manually. I click on that particular group, add and remove uh, user. So these are list of uh, user that are available. I can select and then add. And then uh, I can go back to the group and then check whether there is any increase in the number of participants for that particular group. Then I can repeat for the second. Then the third one. Now each group has two member. Um, to see the uh, a summary of group groupings, uh, you, you can use uh, this overview that summarize the name of group that uh, available and also uh, who are the member within that particular group and also grouping. Down below, 
Uh, is the grouping here? Uh, yeah, this this uh, grouping. Just now I talk about group, right? Now let's see uh, grouping setting. Um, again, I repeat, grouping is a bigger scope. Inside grouping, uh, there will be group. So if you create, for example, um, let me uh, open a, a thing so that I can scribble something there. Wait, uh, let me change my tablet uh, setting so that I can use this screen. Oh, battery is running out. Um, mapping, which be this one, monitor one. But uh, where is the pages now? Here. Where is it? And paint. Oh, it is hidden on the other screen. Let's say uh, group one. Uh, K I X something. One one zero one. K I X. This is your course. Uh, you have two group. Group two. Uh, this is lecturer one. This is lecturer two. And then for your case, maybe you want to create a group for your own class activity. So you create group. One uh, A, group one B, group one C, group. 1D and the member uh, for this group are coming from this uh, of course coming from your student lah. right and then you have uh, an assignment that you would prefer uh, two group to work together so let's say you want these two group lump together and these two group lump together this is where we make use of grouping. So, grouping, uh, you can name it as 1A, 1B, for example. Grouping, 1A, uh, sorry, 1C, 1D. And this, the member of this will be coming from that, and this member coming from that. Instead of creating uh, another group, you can create grouping to overcome this issue, uh, to simplify the problem. So uh, I can name it all student. Uh, let me go back to that. Another beauty about the grouping, you can unite this. If you have, for example, you have uh, common uh, things to share for this particular cohort. So you can unite this, you can call it all student uh, as a, another grouping. Then you can have those two groups that combine two, uh, two groupings that combines uh, two separate groups. Um, Having this uh, group settings will allow you to have uh, uh, a good level of restriction at your um, at, a, at your course level. Uh, what I mean by that, let's say you're creating um, assignment. 
let's create uh let's go down below here uh plus activity um let's uh activity for that class activity um Let's create the same one for um, so maybe let me make it simple. Let's say you want to share um, let me rename this this class activity B. Class activity A. Uh, this is simply class activity. Um, this can be a uh, section, subsection, or even a uh, Topic. Um, now let's see. I add activity here. Uh, let, let's add a file. Let me find a file. Let's create a dummy file. Uh, I'm using my second screen to create dummy file. Okay. Oh, I need to write something in that file only then the spectrum will accept it. Let me type in something. Any questions so far? Save. I would like to share this file to uh, certain certain group. Um, let me create another dummy file. Okay. I have copy one, copy two. Um, if I uh, for sure, I know that uh, uh, I want to share this particular uh, whatever uh, appear down below this topic, uh, this subtopic. Uh, for this uh, group B, for example, I can do this setting, and then I put restriction for only group B. <coughs> group B. So what happened? That particular item will only be accessible to the member of group B. Uh, another tedious approach. I'm going to remove this. Is to do one by one. This one. I can do the same thing. Edit setting. And I'm going to restrict to only group B. So the first approach is much uh, um, easier to uh, take some time. Um, easier to uh, manage because whatever um, additional resources you, that you are putting uh, underneath that uh, topic, it will be automatically configured to be only accessible to the uh, set group. Let me go back. Uh, 
Um, while waiting for that, uh, let me check the slide. So we have covered uh, this one. Uh, the second one uh, by number, it is uh, simply change add to a hatch. We have covered that. This one uh, you can try out. We have also know how to create manually, group manually. Um, we have seen this. We have tested this one. We have uh, uh, seen the overview. Um, and this is the thing that uh, that we said just now. For any um, module, any activity, any subtopic, you have an option to. Uh, perform restriction access. Not only to group, you can do restriction to uh, grouping um, uh, to the particular student and so on. Let me revisit the page, see whether it is okay now. All right. Um, Yeah, so if you configure this uh, file alone, you have to reconfigure again and again. So it is easier to configure at the, the top level. So what happened down below, it will inherit the setting. Add restriction, uh, group, let's say this is group B. Or maybe I choose Kumplan B. And uh, for this one, this one is no longer required. I can reverse that. But as of now, I just leave it uh, that setting. And then I will do the same thing for Kumplan A. Restriction for uh, group A. Um, I would like to share a common mistake that uh, most of the lecturer um, accidentally uh, are facing. Uh, it is when you try to, let's say I have another uh, section. Let me add a section. Let's say you want to say that this section belongs to Kumpulan for kumpulan A and kumpulan B. That is your intention. So what you're trying to configure a, a, anything a file that you uh, created here, for example, this file. You want to only ensure complaint A and complaint B only able to, to have an access. But in the setting here, you cannot use N. You should use all. This means the rule is that either you are in A or you are in B, uh, you should, you, you, the student will be able to have an access. If you put the N operator, then what happened? The spectrum recognized the instruction that uh, you, the student has to be in group one and group B. Only then they have access. It turned out no one will have access because um, those who are ever in group one will not be in group B, right? So be careful on that setting. Uh, let me show the... Remember, uh, you, you, you put group compliant A and then compliant B. Be careful on this. This is the N operator. That means uh, you must be in group uh, complaint A and complaint B. Only then you can get uh, access. 
this need to be changed to any. So either you are in group A or group B. Only then your student will get an access. For the restriction, the, it has a summary to indicate who are actually able uh, uh, access to, to the, the content. Uh, notice uh, over there, restricted, oops, restricted, not available unless you belong to compliant B. The one we created just now uh, is this one. Not available unless any of this. All right. All right. I think nothing much to share now. I just want to hear if there's any uh, question uh, from uh, from your side. question Dr. Dorothy ada soalan uh, yes uh, Dr. Yeah, thank you for uh, having this session uh. Uh, Okay, I, I also have a problem sometimes with my groups uh, sometimes the students see that you belong to missing group have you ever had um, experience and how do you address that problem? Huh? Missing group. Mm. Uh, I never experienced that problem, but it might be due to the... Um, uh, you, you, you do the setting. Um, um, when when did, did you uh, face this problem? Uh, just recently when there was problems with our grouping, so we did the grouping again. Mm -hmm. We assigned to the lecturers the grouping. Uh, but then when I check back with my students, they, they still see some of the materials there as you belong to missing group. So I, I noticed I had to assign Bali uh, because maybe the grouping ran a bit lah, from the previous semester. So I had to assign to each of the students uh, you know this material group manner, uh, which group I can see and and all that lah. I think but one possible reason it, it happened uh, due to the uh, deletion of group and then they are not they are floating they are not belong to any of the group they are not being assigned to any of the group that could be the the, the, the reason mm -hmm. um, yeah and then uh, you, you want to continue I uh, I think you continue lah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so how, how you solve that problem? You reassign them. Um, so each of the materials I I have to redo and put group one, group uh, group one lah, which I'm 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 in and then um uh, um uh, reassign it, reassign it again lah, and then it seems to work. Mm. I think lah. Uh, Okay, to address uh, the uh, problem that you are facing or maybe some other lecturer also facing that particular problem, um, to see whether there is any such uh, problem, you can go to the setting uh, more and then go to the user and then group. There is an overview here. This will actually... I summarize everything. Mm. So, um, so all students they have a group. Um, I think if any of the student does not have any group, then it will create another things that uh, saying that you not belong to any of the group. That could be the reason. And if I accidentally deleted this this group, for example, this would be. Uh, floating. Mm. Okay, so I'll check back on that. Thank you. And uh, this is a uh, not in grouping. This is for the case of not in grouping. Plan one, plan C. These are the group member. Mm. 
not in a group. So for example, me myself, I'm I'm not assigned me myself to be in any of the group and some of the name here. So what happened if I create a resources, then I assign to a um, particular group. Those who are in not in particular group, they will face problem. Um, to overcome that, uh, please have a look on this overview. See who are uh, actually falls in this category, not in a group. And then, then you know who uh, will uh, face that uh, uh, issue. I mean, who are the students that are facing uh, that issue? And then you are able to come back to this group, for example, group C, uh, let's say, any of the group and then reassign uh, that particular student because you already know who are there that not yet uh, assigned to a certain group. Hope I answer your question, Dr. Dorothy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll try to have a look at that. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Um, any other question from member? Is it? Uh, there is it yang tu ada dekat there is one ada question from chat, the eh? chat yes from Dr. Primala I guess good morning good morning Dr. Yazid I yeah. have posted one question on the chat box Um, in the faculty of creative arts we have um methodology course, undergraduate methodology course mm -hmm. that we share between departments. Okay. Uh, so we have different lecturer for music, for the drama, dance. Mm -hmm. So, but they are all together. It's like when I see there are like 63 participants in there, they're all mixed up. How do you divide them according to department? And uh, manage it separately? Is that, is that something that we can do or... Okay, uh, there are two ways. Uh, first, of course, you need to create group. Mm -hmm. And then, the, because you are sharing uh, the course between yeah. different departments, yeah. um, I think you need to use um, what we call um, subsection. Subsection. Okay. What I mean by that, if you notice the course that I'm sharing with you here okay. for you to view, um, I can create subsection. Uh, let me uh, explain what I mean by that. Um, I'm going to open another course that does not have subsection. Uh, for example, this one. Notice I have course info, that's it. Uh, lecture note, that's it. There's no subsection of lecture note. And over here, I uh, uh, simple to show, I think I, I use a spectrum exam. It will be simpler to see. Wait, uh. Okay, first. Hopefully, I can log in. Right. Uh, notice we have uh, uh, topic, topic one, topic two, topic three, topic. Let's say you want to turn this particular topic to department, music department, for example. Uh, let me edit. Okay, this one. This is for music. This part, whatever appear on this, belongs to let's say uh, drama. The other one belongs to dance. Okay. Um. By default, uh, by default, you only have that one level. There's no subtopic or yeah there is no subtopic let's say you you wanted to have 14 week session for this 
14 word session for this, 14 word session for this, right? Um, Spectrum do have that uh, ability to create that subtopic. But to do so, uh, that, that, that's, uh, before I go to that, um, let's come back here. If you're okay with this, you just want to um, have a simple sharing, for example, um, let's say dummy. Uh, this material for those in music one, this one for drama, sorry, first one for music, drama, and I mean, this material for dance. And, the, and uh, we can limit who can access this by uh, doing that, uh, the, the, the setting that I showed you earlier. I'm, I'm showing you uh, uh, the simplest one. This is the simplest one. You just uh, create a, a subtopic associated to that particular uh, department or group. Um, am I answering your question so far? Uh, yes, yes, okay. you, are, you are. Thanks. Okay. This is the simplest that you can do. But if you want to have uh, um, activities, um, assignment, quizzes, that you think it is useful to split the content into sub-topic, then you're going to need this approach. I'm going to show that approach now. Hopefully it works here. Again, I go to the uh, gear uh, bar, eh? gear menu. Uh, zoom in a bit. Gear menu there. Eh? Edit setting. Now it comes to the cost uh, setting. This is cost setting. Ensure this is your cost. Uh, and down below here, there is a uh, setting called cost format. So by default, the spectrum is set to use topic format. Uh, data, which one? Uh, I think I need to go back to the spectrum. This is spectrum exam. It, uh, it is a little bit different. Let me go to the spectrum here. I try to show that setting. Um, try to open that and then see if I can show it to you. Cost format. Yeah, this is the one. Um, it cannot be done in a spectrum exam because in the spectrum exam we uh, try to make it simple. Uh, but in for the teaching and learning, uh, you have this cost format. Right. Instead of weekly format, choose a uh, flexible section format. When you do so, when I choose this, let me check again whether in Spectrum Exam we do have that curve format. Oh, that other. Never mind. In the Spectrum itself, um, go to the setting and then cost setting and then cost format, format, select flexible section. When you select flexible section, what happened? Of course, you need to click done. What happened? You'll be able to create subtopic. Like, for example, this one. And let me zoom out a little bit. Notice over here, this is uh, a bigger section. This, this can be a drama. And this, this is drama week one, drama week two, drama week three, and so on. It, it is slightly um, uh, identified, I mean, uh, shifted to the right. Notice it is not uh, occur at the, uh, let me use this as a ruler. If I put that way, notice this one happens slightly in front. Right, that's mean this is this is a subtopic of that. This is subtopic of that, and then even if I inside this subtopic, uh, 
if I want to create a subsection, I can do so this one, subsection. I can create subsection. I just created a subsection. This is occur at inside this. But for your case, maybe uh, one level of subsection is enough. I'm going to delete this. Um, do you get what I mean? So what happened here can be your music. As the top one. And then here will be music with one. Or maybe um, resources. With two. And this will be uh, dance. And then you're going to have dance with one at subsection. This is uh, the one. And the beauty about this, you can uh, use that and then use that. It will, how to say, um, like you, you have a folder, right? You can uh, pop up the, 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 all the content of the folder by using that. So let me hit that uh, arrow. Notice the arrow, Absolutely. it is pointed to, pointed to the right, right? When I click on that, it will point it to the down. It will point it down and then it will list down all the subsection. That will be making your course page look more uh, manageable. And then here you can assign, do the restriction, um, restrict only those in that particular music group. You can create group, uh, those students that uh, falls under music, then they will be uh, uh, assigned to that group. And then for a common one, you can use grouping, where in the grouping, you will be uh, combining all the students. That will be useful if you have uh, um, a common um, announcement. If I can put the elevate here, we create a topic for a drama. We create a topic for music. We create a topic for dance. And then down below, we can have week one. We can have a discussion that belong only to this drama group. And then you can repeat. This is week one discussion. And then you can have a common one. Common, whoever belongs to, then you have group, uh, group drama. You need to assign member uh, for group drama. Group music, assign member, group dance, Assign member. Let's say you have five member here, five member here, and five member here. And then for uh, grouping, use grouping. You assign all this to this grouping. And for the setting, for the restriction setting, this one, you select this as the restricted. Um, allowable uh, group to assess. Restriction for this one, you select this one. Restriction for this one, you select this one. And then, restriction for this one, you select this, this one. That means 
whatever announcement you are making here will be received by all the uh, members, by all the students. Hope I uh, explain you, uh, address the, the question. Am I addressing your question? Any other question? All right, thank you. Assalamualaikum Dr. Yazid Waalaikumsalam um, Boleh tunjukkan lagi sekali tak macam mana Excel session tu um, boleh appear dekat um, bawah aktiviti tu okay. uh, Nak sa saya tunjuk sekali lagi macam mana nak create yang ni eh at, Macam nak nak appearkan button at session at sub session kat bawah tu Oh ok Sebab saya tadi tak dapat Ok Let me go back uh, to this course. TLG. Beta. Which is better than saying I close this. TLG. Uh, this TLG is a uh, Uh, dummy course, uh, I asked PTM to create for me so that I can use for training purpose. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to disable the uh, subsection first. Uh, am I allowed to do that? Anyway, let, let's try. Wait, uh, I'm, to get to that page, uh, Turn edit on and then set uh, edit setting. And then under course format, uh, let me make it bigger. Course format. It is located slightly below this course format. Um, you should choose flexible section format. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, by default, it is weekly format. Okay, thank you, Mr. Doctor. When you set that and then um, apply um, at the page, now you will able to see additional uh, button called um, add subsection. Okay, thank you, Mr. Doctor. Sama. Be careful lah. Huh? There is a sub subsection. If you click uh, add subsection underneath subsection, it will be sub subsection. So it, it kind of uh, your folder lah. You can create a folder inside a folder. And then folder inside a folder. Let's go deeper. Okay, okay. All right, any other question? Please give it a try. Uh, Assalamualaikum, Doktor. Kesalam. Uh, saya nak tanya lah. Uh, saya dah try buat untuk attendance group 1, 2, 3, ada 3 group lah. Okay, hmm. dia, dia, dia ada 10 group in total, uh, KIX lah ni 1003, dia ada, dia ada 10 group. Okay, so saya dah buat untuk yang group 1, 2, 3. Tapi bila saya pergi kat report tu, kenapa group yang lain pun ada dalam list report saya tu ya? Attendance ya? Ah, uh, attendance. Um. So bila saya pergi kat report ni, saya ingatkan student saya je lah yang saya dah, saya dah select uh, mass and any tu, group 1, 2, 3. Tapi bila saya tengok list ni, semua student dalam tu. Um, dia ada dua cara satu masa nak list down the student tu ada option untuk list down certain group um, dia ada dua cara kalau at the beginning you tak restrict to uh, certain group uh, what happen you will see all of them 
and then there is a menu up there that allow you to filter uh, only those group that you want to see right that's a first approach okay. second approach at the beginning early from the beginning um, we restrict the attendance um, uh, if i can show you do i have class with group uh, let me try it's fine Oh, I did. Um, sorry. Can we have five minute break? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, maybe we can share that problem um, so that all of us are able to see that. Uh, to share that, uh, I need uh, I need you to include me as the co instructor, and then I will be able to open that course and then view uh, from here. If if you allow that. How can I add you as a co-instructor? Okay, this way. And there's um, several lecturers also um, in charge for this particular subject. Yeah. And allowed to add you. I don't know. <laughs> um, how, to add, how to add, doctor? Uh, yeah. Participant. You add and then uh, afterward, then you, you, you remove me. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, a participant, uh -huh. um, and then enroll user here. Enroll user. Right. right. And then um, from here, you type in, uh, I think my email will do, mymyaz at um. Mymyaz. Yes, it's Ahmad, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. And then uh, select the role as oh, oh. co-instructor. Co Remember to remove me afterwards. Okay, wait. M A. Waktu tadi saya dah tersilap. Saya dah assign role you as a student. How can I I I find that? Okay, if you accidentally. Uh, yeah. Or oh, oh, just find your you, name. You, you find my name and then delete. Okay. Wait. An arrow. Mm. And then what is the course name? Uh, KIX 1003. <laughs> KIX 1003. Yeah. Are you inside that? Uh, have you assigned me as the co-instructor? Wait, wait, wait. I haven't. I cannot find you. <laughs> wait, that? Uh, 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 Ramai ni. Just name. Oh, Ramai. Matt, huh? Oh, thinking. Yes. Nama Dr. Muhammad Yazid tu ya? Uh, M-O-H-D. M-O-H-D Y-A-Z-E-D. M-O-H-D. Tadi tadi ada kan? Uh, tadi saya dah add. Sekejap, sekejap. Oh, sekejap. Okay. If you are yeah. in the list, let me teach you another thing. Jangan untuk saya cek saya dibalik. Apa email doktor tadi? M Y A Z. M Y A Z. At U M D O D O M I. Oh betul. Nama doktor mana ada? Okay, sekarang ni nama doktor dah ada sebagai student. Ah, uh, change role lah kot. Ah, uh, oh, let sekejap. me. Edit. You can edit. Edit the role. Uh, others, if you have question, you may type your question on the chat.
Beri masa doktor ya sekejap ya ah, Boleh uh, While waiting I'll try to while, yeah, the... while waiting I think if anybody have an ans- yeah. uh, A question then perhaps you can You can ask Ah, um, Soalan daripada One of the participant tadi You can refer to the Dr. Ahmad uh, Posting um, See whether you can uh, Get access to the deleted item uh, There is a Link there a Recycle bin Thanks Dr. Ahmad uh, Another important thing uh, Our spectrum is based on Model So whatever problem that you are facing, you just type in the keyword. Let's say you want to know about a quiz. And then next to that uh, keyword quiz, uh, type in Moodle. That will allow you to uh, uh, sort the search uh, to include the resources from Moodle. So from there, you will see lots of uh, useful information. And in the Moodle itself, it has... Uh, manual, kind of user manual for every single uh, modules that are uh, available in our spectrum. For example, attendance, there is a menu for that. Let me show you what I'm, I mean by that. Attendance, and then Moodle. We use Moodle 3.11. Uh, you just type in Moodle 3.10. It will turn up the related info. If you're not putting the Moodle version, you might see uh, all the posts like uh, Moodle version 2. That might not really uh, quite relevant to the uh, updated version. Uh, yes, you can try to uh, use that uh, resources as well, but uh, the appearance uh, will be a little bit different and the certain function uh, might also differ. Uh, to be safe, you can type in attendance model 3. You will see uh, this is a YouTube video on attendance um, and how to use attendance and so on. Same thing for other things like uh, quiz. It will be uh, directed to the related resources. And then here, uh, this is a kind of a user manual how to use quiz, uh, loading quiz, adding question, and so on. How Moodle quiz work, it will give you uh, in that how um, the, the, the function of that particular module, how to use, how to set up, how to uh, do grading, and so on. And also, uh, if you want to know about group and grouping, Type in that keyword, group, and then Moodle 3. So this is a uh, group document that explain about uh, group setting in detail. Um, are we ready for that just now? Uh, where is it? Uh? Not this one. Let me open that. Um, KIX 1001, is it? Uh, ya, yeah, betul. Doktor, saya saya cuba cari nombor doktor tapi tak ada as a, as a student. Lepas tu, bila saya nak enroll user balik and add doktor, nombor doktor dah tak ada. Jadi sebenarnya doktor dah ada dalam group ni lah kan? Okay, let me, let me go there. Oh, it's KIX1001, correct? 1003. 1003, sorry. Yeah. 
I think KM has uh, added me as manager for all the courses. Mm. Let me check. Yep, I can go there. Okay, let's go to the topic 25. Tu. Yang atas-atas ni saya tak pasti lah ni bila punya. Okay. Bawah-bawah, bawah lagi. Bawah sekali. <laughs> ni tak pernah buat taip. <laughs> buat, buat. Tak, 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 ni saya pun tak tahu sebab ramai. Okay, top, uh, yang AK okay, yang tu. Ayah ni. Okay. AK03, group 1, uh, 2 and 3. Okay, group 1, 2 and 3. Uh, hmm. The problem again? Okay, problem dia bila pergi kat attendance tu, when I go to report, Ah, uh, let me go there. Ah, uh, bila pergi kat report tu semua nama student ada. Ah, uh, ya, yeah, ini. Sedangkan saya dah grupkan dia menjadi group 1 2 3 saja. Kita. Let me turn edit on. Okay, it might be hidden here. Jadi untuk uh, this month ah. Uh. This week uh, je lah. Uh, that, that particular session saja. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can do something here. Which means the setting from the top here. Let me go back to the top. Uh, this one. Setting of that uh, attendance itself. Not session. This one. Not this one. Restriction. Ah, uh, kat sini. Okay. Group mode ni kan? Uh -huh. um, you can use separate group. Okay, kita buat yang ni dulu. Separate group tapi tak ada grouping. Oh, okay. Not sure yang dah ambil ni boleh sort atau tak. But let, let's try lah. I'm going to dive in inside that uh, attendance and then dive in inside the session. Okay, let's see the report tadi kan? Mm -hmm. Ah, kat sini dah ada, dia ada selection. Nampak tak? Oh, okay. Ah, then you can... Uh, oh, kiranya... Kiranya kena buat satu lah doktor. You can limit that. Ini yang cara yang one of the way. One of the way you can, you see all and then you able to sort to uh, corresponding uh, um, apa ni, student. Okay, okay. Sekejap, kita tengok ini dulu. Uh, group mana? Group one. Group one, two, three. Uh. Uh, that's where the grouping to come into picture. Nampak, you kena buat satu-satu kan, group 1. Ha, ni group betul nak punya. Okay. Group 3. Oh, it, kena it. buat separate lah tadi tu. Ha, nampak dia jadi quite tedious. Okay, let me show you how to overcome this problem. Okay. Let's say, um, we we need to go to this uh, group setting. Um, okay. Allow me to go to the setting page. Slow sikit eh. Kan? Uh, saya punya part pun slow juga. Um, untuk spectrum lah. Ke doktor? Ah uh, ya. Yeah. 
Terus ah betul. User group. Okay, we have group. Let's say we the whether we have grouping or not. Okay, let's create a grouping. Create grouping. Betul ya. Uh, yang group tadi tu, group one, group two, group three tadi. I need yang baru saya buat. Ini yang current one. Ini baru buat eh? Ah, uh, ni baru buat yang group one, uh, JKA, group two, JKA. Ah, dah buat dah. Okay, uh, saya dah buat dah. Uh. Ah. Kita check ya, kita check. Ah boleh. Group one JKA. Ah uh, we. Kenapa semua JKA? Ah uh, sebab JKA memang ada tiga group. Ayat lain saya tak tahu dia tak bergroup kot. Ah dia sebenarnya ah uh, hmm? sebenarnya kena buat ah uh, macam mana cakap ah uh, sebenarnya kena buat macam ni. Let me create uh, um, satu lagi grouping ya. Eh. Okay. Senang. Saya slow sikit nak keluar ya. G R O U P 1 2 3 group JKA. Satu encer ni. Group JKA 1 2 3. Ah, uh, save changes. Yang mana saya klik tadi? Ini kan? And then current ni none. And then kita akan assign lah. Let me see. So it is JKA 1, 2 and 3 kan? So 1, okay. 2 and 3. Oh, okay. Go here. So remember, grouping is a bigger scope. It contains multiple group. Okay. Kenapa tak masuk eh? And then later on, masa kat attendance tu kan, we able to have ability to select this particular grouping. Uh, that way will make your, your life easier lah. I think I have clicked this. Let me click again. Uh, memang slow doktor. Tadi saya buat grouping tu pun memang slow. Nah, loading untuk tu. Add, uh, untuk add tu. <laughs> Salam. Ah, uh, sejak. Ada apa tu? Sejak ada somebody. Where is the mute button? Sorry. Uh, let me refresh that. See whether in the group it already contains that. We yeah, can open new tab. I need to report to PTM. Uh, let me. Let, let's check whether it actually um, uh, affected uh, participant uh, grouping. Or maybe I can go here directly. Hmm. Tenders. Oh, tender. Um. JKA 1, 
Uh, not yet created. Okay, created here, yeah, this one. And then, save and return. Um, what I uh, do just now, what I did just now, uh, I create the attendance. And then in the attendance setting, I uh, limit that attendance only for this particular group, group, uh, this particular grouping, which consists of group A, uh, group one, group two, and group three. And they are by default uh, based from Maya, uh, are coming from um, JKA student, Jabatan Kejuteraan Awam student. And then when we go inside, Instead of seeing many, many uh, lists, we only scope down to the group that within this grouping. And if we want, if we want to see all, then we are able to see all. Now let, let's add session just uh, for a dummy for us to see. Within this uh, session, you can limit which particular group that this session uh, supposed to be. If you want it to be common to all, then you can select all. This will reflect to your report afterwards. If you only select one, so that particular entry will only have one group. Um, let's select all. Um, I'm not going to do multiple session. I just uh, click that. Then I will have a one session. Just want to see or see. So it automatically create the three session for each of the group. Um, and on this session itself, you only see um, this particular uh, student. Let's say this one. Only student within that. So this will be will uh, making it uh, easier for you to um, observe the attendance to the uh, report and so on. When you see report here, here you can uh, show all of the uh, JKA student, or you can selectively select to the uh, grouping, uh, to the group. So I'm going to delete this one because uh, I don't want to interfere with this course. But that's how. Yeah. Should I delete this? Or you want uh, to refer? Uh, Biar je dulu, Adel. Nanti saya nak refer. All right, thank you very much. Solve that, that issue. Eh? Okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Hope, hope this will benefit to others as well. Mm. Any any participant have a uh, uh, other question uh, or similar doctor, question? Doctor yep. lagi satu, kalau dikatakan uh, student able to uh, macam mark attendance uh, by theirself, hmm. dia akan mark attendance tu macam mana doktor ya? Dia akan guna ha. apa? Saya, tadi saya dah tunjuk dia macam ni, dia akan uh, katakan saya sebagai student, I will uh, behave like a student, uh, let's see. Dia kena kat sini tak tak boleh tak. This is restricted. Maybe I I create one. Uh, maybe okay. I use my my cost lah. Alright, thank you, Doctor. Ya? Yep. Uh, spectrum. DLG just now. Teaching and learning ground. So as a student, um, to see the student view, I switch to uh, student mode, student view mode. So this is what I'm going, uh, student will see. Um, let's say this is the attendance that I want to, re to record. I go there. Um, 
Uh, just now I already uh, recorded. Uh, if not re recorded, this self recorded. When 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 you click on um, this link, you'll be able to uh, manually record it. Uh, maybe I can try it again. But I need to create another entry. Let me return to normal row. And then add one session just for the sake of testing. Uh, it's happened today at 10 until 5 until 3. Okay, see. Oh, allow student to record. Okay, this is the one. Um, now I will be logging as student. A student. And here, yeah. as student, uh, when the times come, when the course actually happening at that particular time, when the session uh, is active, the student will have this link. He or she will click that link and then will be able to manually record it. That's a manual approach. Another approach is um, to allow your student to record from um, QR code. Let me log in. Oh, I haven't shown you on the QR code. Um, those who are uh, not yet familiar with the QR code, uh, let's see together. Of uh, course, I go to QRG again. Oops. Um, QR code this one if it is not visible here ensure you are in editing mode uh, all the things that appear at the right side we call it block to add and remove the block um, to add the, uh, a block use this uh, menu located at the bottom um, on the left uh, menu here drag all the way down at the block let's say i do not have this Let, let me delete that let's say i do not have that block to add a block click this one ensure you are in editing mode and then look for the look for um, the block that you intended to add uh, QR code attendant this one and then it will pop up and then you need to observe whether the session is correct if not correct then you need to manually select the session and choose the session for today uh, today is 23rd March March this one and this uh, can be uh, scanned by uh, apps by student and then they should be able to record the attendance by that approach. So two way, one, uh, the student will enter to the Spectrum course page and then click the link. Another way, uh, they can enter to the course page, scan the QR code, or you can uh, bring this QR code into your, um, your screen view. And then at the student side, they uh, will be able to uh, record the attendance. Any other question? Uh, Doctor, another thing, kalau macam uh, KIS kan ada banyak group kan uh, uh -huh. So QR code ni dia boleh ada berapa, dekat blog tu dia boleh ada berapa Setiap group boleh letak ke ataupun hanya satu saja that available Oh, your uh. session occur parallel ya? Uh, parallel Oh Jadi tak setiap pernah, Tak, tak pernah pula terfikir pasal tu <laughs> <laughs> Jadi setiap, dia, dia boleh satu je So sekarang ni yang ada kat situ adalah group 7 je Ya, yeah, dia boleh satu je 
Maksudnya dia memang boleh satu lah I need to talk uh, to PTM to uh, add more if uh, that is a requirement uh, Alternatively, sebab... alternatively what you can do for each lecturer uh, mm-hmm. um, you capture this uh, one of the way is uh, uh, for example you can put this even earlier on before your class you can put this uh, code uh, inside your uh, lecture notes inside your presentation slide or inside your welcoming uh, slide uh, tapi dia, dia akan berubah ke doktor kan setiap minggu? I, uh, setiap, kena setiap, buat setiap lah. slide kena buat lah uh, alright ok hmm. ok understand kalau tidak yang the, easy way, the easiest way is a self attendance lah Ah, uh, That's the easiest way lah Ah, uh, Alright ok Alright. Easiest to the lecturer lah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Apa lagi eh? Tendens. Uh, Soalan? Let's see the chat. Any other question? Assignment, okay. Let, let's look on the assignment. Hmm. And, on, on. This is my course. Try this uh, activity. Oh, oh, assignment. I can configure this assignment. Let's say group assignment. Oops. Group submission setting. I can pick yes. When I pick yes, uh, the other menu pop up, and each of the setting will have the description uh, right over here. Like for this one, um, if enabled, student will be divided into groups based on the default set of group. Okay. The spectrum will look to the group setting and then it will uh, sort the student according to the group. This means the other three menu will, will be visible. If I choose no, what happened? There is no grouping for this assignment. If I choose yes and I have done another setting, require a group to make submission. Uh, what it is all about, you can check that one. If enable user who are not member of a group will be unable to make submission. That means if the student, any of the student within your spectrum, they are not within any of the group. And then what happened, they are uh, not able to accept, uh, submit the submission. Um, so I'm going to... Um, let me choose yes. So that means they, they need to be a member. Uh, this one, uh, leave it as default. default. Right, this is uh, for grouping. Similar to the attendance just now. Uh, if this assignment is for uh, a certain uh, grouping, we can do this selection. If not, there will be um, the assignment will be um, the student will be categorized into their uh, respective group. Mm. Let 
let's click uh, save and return to course uh, save, save and display um uh, problem here because the setting required group to make a submission is enabled and some users are either not a member of any group or a member of more than one group so if you face this problem that means you have uh, this issue um, definitely you need to use a uh, grouping option um, go back to the setting uh, So if you still proceed, uh, some of your students might have an issue when they're trying to uh, submit. To edit the setting, you can go here. And then you can come back here, uh, grouping setting. So you can choose either, uh, like for uh, example just now, um, JKA uh, group, grouping. So this will create um, group A and group B together for this assignment. So please have a, a try run, play around with this and then you will understand how it works. Um, any other question? If not, uh, I think we, we stop here. Um, do remember to uh, record the, uh, give your feedback. I think it is available, the feedback form is available in the uh, chat area. And see you again in the uh, upcoming um, Spectrum session. All right, thank you everyone. Thank you, Dr. Yazid, for the exciting session. All right. Tak nak ambil gambar ke? Ambil lah gambar. Ambil gambar, Dr. Uh, ambil lah gambar. Ramai ni. Okay. Boleh. Okay. Dr. Yazid, uh, stop sharing ke macam mana? Okay. 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 How to shop. Uh, stop sharing. Stop sharing. Tak jumpa pula dia punya menu ni. Okay. All right. So we have 21 participants still joining the session and yeah. You may open your switch on your camera video to have a photo session. All right. As a proof maybe. <laughs> All right. I guess this only. Okay. The rest. Okay. All right. Okay. That is it. Look at the camera. Oh. My my, my camera already stuck. Already That's stuck. fine. <laughs> <laughs> because I use my mobile phone, I forgot to bring my camera. All right. Never mind. Still have your face there. All right. Okay. Ready, everyone. Three, two, one. Okay. One more second. Take one, two, three. All right. Thank you so much for joining this webinar, and hopefully we'll see you for the next webinar under edX. All right. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and happy lunch, maybe.